Now we will work on uh, the next question, the next part for 2010, Math 227, Test 2, uh, Number 3, Part D. We already did uh, A, B in another video, Part C on uh, another one video. Now we will work on Part D. Now we can see the question a bit here. Now Part D, the question is, extend the probability distribution created in Part C to compute the expected number of yellow balls and its standard deviation. Uh, what I will do is I will extend the probability distribution we have up there. I will copy that down and I will extend it. Okay, The first column will be for y, the second column for the probability of y. The third column is y times probability of y. Uh, that's the first extension. The second extension will be y squared and y squared probability of y. Okay, and then I think I want to make it a bit longer. Yeah, give more space to myself. y equals to c y may be 0 1 2 3 and the probability for each is uh, 10 over 56 uh, 3 over 56 for uh, y equals to 1 and 15 over 56 for y equals to 2 1 over 56 for uh, y equals to 3 Then okay. uh, the sum is supposed to be one here. Now let's see the first extension. Uh, this is zero. So this is thirty over fifty-six. Thirty over fifty-six. Three over fifty-six. And therefore the sum will be sixty-three over fifty-six. Now that is the expected number of yellow balls we get which is 63 over 56 which uh, if I reduce by uh, 7 that will be 9 over 8 I think if I make it decimal it will be 1.125 that's for the expectation but you can just leave it as a fraction if you want as long as it is simplified now the second extension this is 0 here, multiplied by the probability that's 0, uh, 1 squared, 2 squared, and 3 squared. Multiply by the corresponding probability, that will give me uh, 30 over 56. Uh, that's 60 over 56. And then uh, 9 over 56, which end up with... 99 over 56 am I okay now then the variance of y therefore uh, 99 over 56 uh, minus the square of uh, 9 over 8 which is 99 over 56 minus 81 over 64 now uh, the LCD of these well 56 is 7 times 8 and 64 is 8 times 8 actually you don't really worry about this if you don't want to deal with this just use calculator but uh, I want to review my algebra. Mm. Uh, 56 and 64, 56 times 8, that's 448. That's the LCD. So 99 times 8 will be 
792 minus 81 times 7 that will be 567 so 592 uh, 792 minus 567 that's 225 over 448 now then mm, let's see divide that number by 448 uh, we can round this to be uh, 0 0.50223 which therefore uh, the standard deviation of y will be the square root of that is uh, 0.7086 Okay, now uh, let's review this again. We basically copy the probability distribution that we have earlier in part C. Okay, and then uh, you need to remember the first extension, and this is the second extension. Now, be, when you do the second extension, especially, be very careful when you do this part here. Uh, just a warning because uh, many people make mistakes by reading the wrong uh, the, the wrong column instead okay and then after that make sure you don't add this part only the second column the probability and then the expectation part and then uh, the last column here okay that's for the this for 2010 math 227 test 2 number three part D.